He's the nominee. You're putting 74 million votes in prison. Overstepping the bounds. It's almost as if the Democrats want exactly what happened in 2016 to happen again. They're trying to take him out now and they're trying to trigger another January 6th. If this New York City prosecutor is allowed to do this and you are not a Democrat, you need to get out as soon as you can. You run the very real risk of becoming a target of these deep staters. Here, uh, we have just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has what? been indicted by a grand jury in New York. As you probably know, this all stems from Trump's hush money case involving Stormy Daniels. And those Republicans that we just saw, those Fox News hosts, I mean, they're about to lose their minds. I thought they're about to jump out of their skin. What do you mean trying to trigger another January 6th? It was President Donald J. Trump mayor who actually triggered January 6th. This whole compilation of them losing it, just, I'm not surprised that they're losing it. You, Mayor? Not at all. I, I tell you what's funny though, uh, and, and funny in a disgusting way, is karma. Karma, not just because one of the Central Park Fives, who Donald Trump still re refuses to apologize for after he spent eighty-five thousand dollars helping them get a wrongful conviction of these teenage boys, black and brown boys, um, but karma because this is this is supposed to be the Law and Order Party. The Law and Order Party, and now all they're doing is bashing police every chance they go after Donald Trump. And this is not just the district attorney. This is these are this is a grand jury that said there's enough evidence to bring 30 charges against this past president. And I'm glad it's happening, um, regardless of how much Fox and Donald Trump try to sell you that this is political war. It's not that. It's it's carrying out law as it should happen, regardless. Or what position you hold in this country. No one, not even the president or past presidents are above the law or should be at least. That is it and according to New York laws, he broke those laws. So here we are and the mayor's point about a grand jury, those are people, everyday people like you and me on that grand jury. They decided as he said, there was enough there and here we are. This is historic as it becomes again, the first time a former or a current president is going to be or is indicted in this country and just reported this afternoon, just this afternoon, hot off the presses. A little bit before our show started, Trump will be arraigned Tuesday to face hush money indictment. So that's going to be on Tuesday. And arraignment, many of you know, is the first process, first step within a criminal trial where the defendant gets to go before the court and gets to hear what the charges are against them. So that will happen for President Donald J. Trump on Tuesday. Now, President Biden has declined to comment. But my stunt double, she weighed in per usual, she did. Just simple, Trump indicted, nothing else to be said. Grand jury votes to indict Donald Trump in New York. Live updates, Mr. Trump will be the first former president to face criminal charges. The precise charges are not yet known, but the case is focused on a hush money payment to a porn star during his 2016 campaign. And Trump himself said his usual nonsense in response to the indictment. Here's what he said in a statement. This is political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. From the time I came down the golden escalator, I thought the brother was gonna say from the time he descended from heaven. But anyway, let me go on and read what the Hill staff wrote. From the time I came down the golden escalator at Trump Towers, and even before I was sworn in as your president of the United States, the radical left Democrats, the enemy of the hardworking men and women of this country have been engaged in a witch hunt to destroy the Make America Great Again movement. That is Donald J. Trump, the 45th president of these United States of America. Now he went on, cuz you know Mr. Trump has to go on. Never before in our nation's history has this been done. The Democrats have cheated countless times over the decades, including spying on my campaign, but weaponizing our justice system to punish a political opponent who just so happens to be a president of the United States. And by far the leading Republican candidate for president has never happened before ever. Well, you know what? Former President Donald J. Trump is correct. An indictment of a president or a former president has indeed never ever happened before. He got that right. Now Trump's team is claiming this indictment was a surprise, really. I mean, the whisper campaign that really was not a whisper has been out there for weeks. This is what they said, the former president reckoned along with his aides that recent reporting about the grand jury taking a break from next 
next week meant prosecutors in the district attorney's office were reconsidering whether to seek an indictment over the matter. Mayor Robinson, I'm sure he wished they were trying to reconsider, but here we are. This was not a surprise. It was no secret that these charges were coming down. Yeah, I mean, like for, for his for his attorney to get on national TV and tell that lie is absolutely ridiculous. Especially after Trump is the one who broke the news. Trump is the one that said he was going to be indicted, just like he told the world about what happened with the FBI raid and then cry about it. So we know what Trump is doing. Trump is trying to play victim as he always does, even when he's descending down a golden elevator from heaven or what. Trump Tower, whatever he calls it these days. I think the problem here is for Trump is he's, he's, he's starting to look more and more like a hypocrite if that's even possible. Because keep in mind, he's talking about the Democrats cheated and how the, how the justice system is being misused. This is a person who tried to push our Justice Department to call a fair election criminal. Or illegal. He was pressuring Barr to do that. And Barr, who went way too far in his, his reign at the Justice Department, wouldn't even go along with this. So it's funny to see Trump in his position and Republicans' heads exploding on national TV as if they don't know that Trump's criminal. But it reminds us day in, day in and day out that the Republicans don't care about anything unless it's ratings, views on Twitter, or whiteness. Point blank, period. Point blank. Period. We are, I mean, it is absolutely true. And this stunt, I mean, the president is one of the best at making sure that people continue to pay attention to him and only him. And it is no surprise that he has actually made himself the victim. So we, this, this circus will continue. We can guarantee you that.